Here I am at the Bournemouth Air Festival and we've got a Spitfire and a Hurricane in the background. See it there? We're going to start off our Spitfire with a shape like this. So, just like me in pencil, just follow what I'm doing. Remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. So that's the body of the plane. Now we're going to add the wings. So just starting here, I'm first going to just think about the diagonal that I'm going to put the wings on. So really lightly in pencil. I'm just going to draw a really faint line, just going all the way down. Remember not to press too hard because these are our preparatory lines. So here we're going to be drawing a line parallel to the one that I just did now. All the way down to here. And then all the way up again. And then this one's going to be much shorter because it's further away. So carrying on. All the way up. And then around. Now for the tail. Just a shape coming up like this, coming around, and then the other part of the tail, just like that, and then the other part just peeping out from behind here. And now for two little lumps here, one lump there, and one lump there, and you can guess that's going to be the cockpit. Go. And then just a little line here for the propeller. So we're going to start off with the propeller now. We're going to be doing a little bit more detail. So we're going to go over it in pen, so don't worry about pressing too hard. I'm going to erase as I go along just to get rid of these preparatory lines. There we go. You can give it a kind of sketchy feel before we go over it in pen. It's often easier to do that. And then I'm going to press a little bit harder here. So the Spitfire was a short range, quick and agile plane, and it was the main frontline fighter in World War II. So I'm just going to erase these little lumps that I did before, and I'm just going to perfect them a little bit better. Here we go. So, here we go, just one there, and then the other one behind it. And then we're gonna draw the rest of it around here. So this tutorial is dedicated to one of my favorite teachers, Mr. Blades. He was my biology teacher in secondary school or high school. And he's, he was one of those teachers, or still is, because he's, I think he's just done 35 years at the school that I used to go to. Um, he's just one of those teachers that's just really inspiring, you know, really makes you interested in the subject. So much so that I was considering becoming a microbiologist many, many years ago. But instead, I became an artist. <laughs> there we go. I'm now just going to erase these preparatory lines just so that they don't get in the way, but I can still see them. I'm not erasing them completely. So, it's going to make them a little bit smoother so it goes into the tail area. This comes down. I'm going to erase these two again so that I can still see them. This one starts off a bit higher. I'm just going to make that a little bit smoother. There we go. Now coming back to the front end of the plane. 
I'm just going to draw the front. So it comes a little bit higher than we did before because there's a part that comes underneath. And then we stop here because we've got to do the wing. So again, I'm just going to erase this just enough so that I can still see it, but so it won't interfere with what I'm doing at the moment. So the wing actually starts a little bit further up, just there. And I'm just going to draw line there where it touches and then this wing comes all the way down in one smooth swoop and then again all the way up and then here it's a little bit curved so it's going to curve its way into the body just like so erase this part and then going to go like this and then now for the other wing I'm going to do exactly the same. So the name Spitfire possibly came from the daughter of the manufacturer's chairman Sir Robert McLean who called his daughter Anne his little Spitfire. Apparently the designer RJ Mitchell actually wanted it to be called the shrew or the scarab so he did not get his way. So now for the other wing. Now for the little back wheels. So it was one of the first planes to feature retractable landing gear. So I think that caught out a couple of the pilots. Okay, now for some of the markings. So draw a circle here. And then a little larger circle around it. This will all make sense when we come to colour it in. And then a smaller circle. And then a smaller one. And then some of the markings. And then I'm just going to draw a little man inside, wearing a helmet. Sat there, there we go. And then another little man here. Again with his helmet. I'm going to give him sunglasses. There we go. And then again, the two circles on the wings. So these circles are quite difficult to do because they're ellipses. So the Spitfire could carry eight Browning machine guns and even carried beer kegs to create beer bombs for the Allied troops in Normandy. Can you imagine that? Chilled beer being dropped down for you. But they were happy to see that. There we go. Okay. And then again here.
These are quite hard to get right because of the angle, but just try your best. Okay, now I'm going to go over it all in pen and then I'm going to raise all the pencil markings. So I've raised all the pencil lines and I've gone over it in pen. Now we're just going to add the propeller lines. So because the propeller's in motion, I'll just show you a very quick technique of how to draw propellers in motion. So lots of curved lines, just slowly getting bigger and bigger, and then the same underneath. Then a few here. And then the same over here. Just like so. And then we're going to add the camouflage markings and then we're going to colour it in. So, camouflage markings come around here. One round here. Now using a dark blue, I'm going to colour in these circles. When I use colouring pencils, I build upon layers. So first of all, I do a very light layer and then I just get progressively heavier and heavier. One last bit here. Also, if you start off in layers, that means that you can erase any mistakes that you do. Now for the red. I'm gonna go over it again, much harder, just to make the color more intense. But for the time being, we're just gonna do a little bit. Now for yellow. And now I'm going to draw the rest of the camouflage in this grey and then go over it in a very light blue just to get the right kind of um, bluey grey colour and then a range of different greens to get the khaki colour. I'll probably add some yellow to it as well. So I'm going to speed up this process now. So now I'm just going to add the finishing touches, which are some little red lines here. So one here, one here, and then the same on the other side, one there, and one there. And also, I'm just going to add some little trees and bushes down here below, just so that you can see all the fields. So I'm just using a darker green, a kind of khaki green. You may have noticed I used the eraser to try and blend a little bit the um, colouring pencils just to make it look a little bit smoother. And then I went over this quite a few times. So I'm just putting in the little hedgerows here. I'm going to speed this up a little bit.
I'm using a darker blue to go over the hedgerows in the distance just because when things get further away the colours get cooler by that I mean it contains more blues and then when the colours get closer or when you view something closer they get slightly warmer so we put more yellows more kind of um, yellowy reds and things like that There we go. So to make this grey I used a mixture of greys and blues and then I used a little bit of black underneath here just to show the shadow. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more just underneath just to show that it's 3D. Just under here. You can add a tiny bit of black in these um, curved circular lines. Don't press too hard there. Just to give the impression of movement. And my little men in the cockpit. There we go. And there we have our finished drawing. I really hope you've enjoyed drawing this Spitfire. If you have, then please hit subscribe and like, and check out this video here, you're gonna love it. Thanks for joining me today, bye bye.